Hey, my name is Austin. Sorry, I'm here to talk about the new student dialogue we did last week. Um, the first thing we did was the instructor had everyone had everyone get up in front of the classroom and um, had to break the ice. So each person had to tell their name, their major, and where they're from, and one fun fact about themselves. And whoever had the same um, fun fact about himself, how to get up and wrap hands, wrap arms around the next person until everyone got up, everyone was up in, in a circle, and it took, took a while, so, for everyone to, um, connect, and then the next thing we did was, uh, um, We uh, talked about anything like we uh, he gave us a piece a uh, sheet of paper that um, has a little box on it and we um, split it up between the eight things that are most important to us and um, and then we uh, we had a partner we got a partner and we had to talk about the things that were most interesting to us and we um. And I uh, met some really like nice people who um, had a lot of things that were going on wrong in their life, and it made me feel a lot better about myself. And then after that, we all uh, talked about it in a group, everyone in a circle, and uh, it was really good. And then um, next, we uh, we watched a video about this um, young this guy who uh, who was born like mentally challenged and he couldn't walk or he couldn't walk or um, he had to be pushed around a wheelchair or and everything but he was he was a smart kid but he um so everything was very challenging to him and um yeah it was a long video about about this guy and uh and he still he's he still could do uh everything anyone else could even though it was a lot harder, but um, and um, the most amazing thing about the video was uh, just being able to do everything just like normal people, and uh, he was even able to get in the uh, there. He was chatting online with a uh, girl, and um, I don't think the girl knew that he was uh in a wheelchair and couldn't talk, he could only type on his keyboard, on this thing, on his wheelchair, and yeah, it was really cool because, uh, the girl really liked him before and was like wanting to meet him, but they never met, and, um, and then they finally met and, uh, the girl wasn't, wasn't ready for that. And being like that, but uh, she still stayed with them, and, and they, uh, they really, um, and they even I think got married. And so I mean, anyone it can you know, for anyone. So I made I made really realize that um, how fortunate I am, and how fortunate I, I don't have to be like roll around a wheelchair all day, and I can't even talk. I have to type it in my computer on my, on my wheelchair and other people have to push me around and people look at you weird and um, I was very surprised about all the people that had something wrong with them in the classroom and like one guy was dyslexic and he had to um, he had to work twice as hard in school as anyone else which is already hard because he's at a he's at a at Clemson University, which is a tough academic school, but even when he was a young age, he worked hard and knew it was going to be a lot harder. Then, for for himself and everyone else, but he really made it work. And I felt like that was like that was pretty cool because I don't know, it just made me feel really fortunate that I'm, I was so lucky not to have any of those disabilities and everything. And that, and that was pretty much the whole the student dialogue thing, and uh, it was a really good experience, and I was, I was glad I got 
the opportunity to do it. And this is my video. Thanks.